Welcome back to another mortgage interest rate update. This time it is for August of 2021 and we're seeing some rates go down and we're seeing some rates that should be going down but aren't. And we're gonna talk about that today. But before we get into it, do me that favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video. And don't forget about our race to 25,000 subscribers. We're, we're gonna give away $5,000 to one lucky subscriber just for subscribing to the channel. They can do with it whatever they like. Maybe put in their RSPs, their TFSA, their RESPs, maybe pay down their mortgage, pay down other debt or simply just use it for a down payment or something. Who knows, it's up to you, the winner. But in order to win, you have to subscribe. So go ahead, click that subscribe button. It's free, it's easy, and it's definitely worth it. The definitive guide on how to manage your credit, product, penalty, price, in that order. It's never been more important to get your mortgage right. Okay, so welcome back. Another mortgage interest rate update for you guys. And this one is really interesting because we're seeing variable rates drop again. And we're seeing some things happening in the bond market that would lead us to indicate that, or lead us to believe that five-year fixed rates should be dropping, but they aren't for some reason. They're pretty much staying where they are. And we're gonna talk about why that is, but before we do, let's just jump right into it and talk about what the full featured rates are out there right now. These are the rates with no restrictions, the best lenders, A-plus lenders in the industry. These are the lenders that are better than the banks. I know, I know it's hard to believe that there's lenders out there that are better than the banks, but I call these A plus lenders because quite frankly, they can't skate on their reputation. They can't skate on their marketing budgets. They quite obviously have to have better products or they wouldn't survive. And those are typically the products and some products from Scotiabank that we are including in our full feature rates. So we'll jump right into it and show you where we are at this week. Um, first and foremost, insured mortgages or mortgages with greater than 35% down, we are now at 1.35% or prime minus 1.1. This is down from last month. Last month, they were at prime minus one. So we're seeing the discounts on variable rate mortgages grow slightly, which is kind of interesting. And that has to do with expectations of where interest rates are going to go and the amount of profit margins that are available for the banks. We'll get into that in just a second. Five-year fixed mortgages are still priced around 2.09 for a full featured mortgage that doesn't have anything, any tricks or surprises that are going to cost you a bunch of money down the road. Uh, these are with lenders like MCAP, First National, CMLS, and so on and so forth. Again, those are what we call our A-plus lenders. Now, when we get into 20 to 35% down payment, we see a range. The breaking point is at about 30% down payment is where you start to see the lower rates in this section. And less than 30% uh, down is where you see the higher rates. Five-year variables, if you're putting that full 30% down or 35% down, you're at 1.35%. And if you're putting 20 or 25% down, you're at 1.4%. So these are really great rates. These variable rates just seem to be getting better and better and better, which is why we are still recommending that people take variable rates at least until we have some sort of indication that interest rates are going to go up because we can lock in those savings for now with a variable rate mortgage and then lock into a fixed rate mortgage if and when interest rates do start to rise. Now, if we jump into five-year fixed rates with 20 to 35% down, we're looking at 2.09 on a five-year fixed with 30 or 35% down, and we are looking at 2.29 if you're putting 20 or 25% down. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip you into another chart here, and this is the five-year bond rate. And I'm gonna talk about this before we get into the discount mortgage rates that are even lower than the full featured rates that we just talked about. We'll talk about what you need to watch out for with those and, and what, whatnot in a second. But I wanted to show you real quickly the five-year bond market chart because there is a story to tell here. If you look at the five-year bond market chart and you look at five-year fixed rates, typically what you see is they move in a pattern and they move together. And typically five-year fixed mortgages are priced at a percentage above what the bond market yield is. And when you saw interest rates go back in February and March of 2021, you saw five-year fixed uh, rates go up. And when you saw that the bond market came down in the end of June, you saw interest rates sort of come down a little bit. Then bond market rates bumped up as did five-year fixed rates. And now what we've seen since July, since the last time we did one of these videos, is we have seen interest rates fall by almost 0.2%. So what we would typically expect is that five-year fixed rates would fall at the same rate. So we'd see them go from 2.09 down to 2.89. 
And for some reason that isn't happening. And there's a whole bunch of theories as to why this isn't happening. It could be the banks are just in a place where they don't feel like they need to be super competitive going into the summer anymore. It may be that they don't want to be extending those lower interest rates for those fixed rate borrowers to people that have already signed documents and signed their mortgage acceptance letters and their commitment letters, and they just don't want to pass it on. But what's really interesting here is we're seeing this downward trend line. This black line here is the trend line. And that trend line continues to fall. And as it continues to fall at some point, we're going to see lower five-year fixed rates again, unless those bond market yields spike up. And what this means is when we start to see these bond yields decrease, what that is, is that's the market telling us that they are seeing less of an expectation of higher interest rates, less of an expectation that in five years, interest rates will be higher than they are today. So what that tells us is that the market is saying, hold on a second, are we really, really, really going to see higher interest rates somewhere down the road? Or are we just not going to see them to the extent that we previously believed? And that's what's going on here is we're very much seeing a situation where bond market yields are falling, which will eventually mean lower five-year fixed rates. And we're probably going to see this go up and down over time over the next couple of years. And really the future is Hard to predict when it comes to interest rates right now because of all the things with respect to base inflation and inflation rates themselves and so on and so forth. So, you know, really interesting story being told here in the fact that coming come September, October, we could see another really, really low interest rate environment as banks and lenders start to hit their year end and start to get more competitive for business again. Now, before I go into the discounted rates, I do want to remind you of one thing. We're doing this a little earlier than we normally would. It is our Secrets to Getting the Lowest Interest Rate course. This is a course that we have designed for those of you who don't necessarily want to go and get your mortgages from Mortgage 360. Maybe you've already got your bank. Maybe you already have your mortgage broker. Maybe it's your cousin or something or your brother and you feel obligated to deal with them. But what we want you to know is all the things that our customers and our clients at Mortgage 360 find out about their mortgages when they deal with Mortgage 360 so that you have a complete picture of what you're getting when you get something like a discount mortgage or a super low interest rate because a lot of people don't realize that the interest rate you pay often dictates how much more you're going to have to pay to get out of it down the road how much more you're going to have to pay in order to make changes and so on and so forth the lowest interest rate is not always indicative of the lowest borrowing costs over time. So we've put together the secrets to getting the lowest interest rate course. It talks about how to negotiate with a, with a bank, how to negotiate with a lender, how to negotiate with a broker, it tells you how much profit margins in each type of mortgage and really gives you all the information you need to succeed as well as the landmines and the surprises that come along with getting a mortgage in Canada. Now, we have priced this course so low that if you're getting a mortgage in Canada, you 100% will get at least 10 to 100 times your money back, 10 to 50, 10 to 100, I suppose 100 is possible, but at least 10 to 50 times your money back. And we put a special offer in for Mortgage 360 to guarantee that you'll get 10 times your money back should you choose to get your mortgage to us after you take that course. So link in the description below for 50% off the already discounted price. Yes, the price when you click on that link will be discounted an additional 50%. So go ahead, sign up. I would love to join you on that journey. And without further ado, let's Let's get back into the discounted mortgage rates. So discounted rates for insured mortgages, five-year variables down to 1.15%. Now remember, these mortgages typically come with things like bona fide sale clauses, which mean you can't get out of the mortgage unless you sell the property, or you can't refinance with a different lender or switch to a lender, different lender if you get a better deal. This becomes problematic on a variable rate mortgage because if you do decide to log in, you're pretty much at the lender's mercy when it comes to the lock-in rate that they get to offer you. So we highly recommend on variable rate mortgages that you avoid this type of clause, unless you're somebody who is going to 100% stay in your mortgage for the next five years and you're not worried about it. But our experience is those people who believe that they're going to do that for the next five years are always the one who have a change of heart somewhere around the three year mark. Five year fixed rates for a discount mortgage on insured or greater than 35% down payment mortgage are 1.84. 20 to 35% down, we're seeing 1.15 to 1.25% on a variable if you're in that 20 to 35% down range. And for a five year fix, you're at 1.84 to 2.04. And folks, that is the mortgage rate update for August, 2021. As you can see, some really great interest rates out there, 
some likely better interest rates coming down the road. So if you're in the market in the next month or two, by all means, make sure you get those rate holds, but also make sure that once you've got those rate holds that your bank or your broker is constantly checking to make sure that they can't or can get you an even lower rate, which is something that we do automatically at Mortgage360. Of course, if you wanna have us help you with your mortgage, you can apply in the description below. There's a link down there. And if you found this video useful, do me that favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, please hit that like button so more people like you can see this video. And don't forget about that race to 25,000 subscribers. I hope, I sincerely hope that one of you who stayed till the very end of this video, which is typically about 50% of you, I sincerely hope it's one of you that wins. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.